oh my gosh, too much hacking has caused me to lose my girlfriend. But more importantly, run out of disk space. Anyways, welcome back to the channel, my friends. It's your boy, Secret Letters. If you're like me, I just get clone every hacking wordless repository out there on the internet until this happens. That's right, too many password generators, wordless, directory fuzzing, you name it, has killed my disk space faster than the coronavirus killed my goldfish. Anyways, let's create a bash script designed to monitor our Kali Linux disk space usage so we can get an early warning when usage goes beyond a certain threshold. This way, we can have a warning system about reaching critical disk space levels, prevent downtime and system crashes, be proactive in potential storage issues, and increase efficiency and speed on our Kali Linux hacking machine, all with customizable thresholds. And that's how you make a promo. Anyways, let's get into it. All right, guys, let's take a look at this script and what it's doing. It's doing a few things. And one of those things that it's doing is grabbing your password. Just kidding. You can see that it starts off with the shebang line specifying the interpreter to be used. And what we're going to do is we're going to print some information to the terminal. The first thing we're going to print is a warning system of the disk space usage. As you can see here, I've used 13 gigs of disk space usage it is 70 percent and it prints out the available space. And then the second thing that it does, it goes through and it grabs the top 10 directories that are consuming space and it's sorting them with the largest down to the smallest. And then lastly, it'll print out a GUI notification over here in the top right screen. So if I were to run this script again, you can see a warning system disk space usage show up here in the GUI format with basically the same amount of information that's printing out in the terminal, the used space, available space, and so on. So as you can see, we have our threshold variable set to 60%. We can change this to 70%, we can change it to 50%. If we run this script and our disk space usage is over 60%, it'll trigger a warning sign. So you can see my usage is 70%. So if I were to change this threshold to 80%, run this script again, nothing will show up because my disk space has not reached 80% capacity yet. So then we're getting the disk usage and we're selecting the specific columns to be displayed percentage source used available target and then we're jumping into a while loop reading each line from the disk usage into the line variable right here we're going to print the first field as a percentage and then we're going to remove the percent sign and then we're jumping into two conditions an if then statement we're then going to use regex to check if the used percentage only contains digits and then we're going to check if the value is greater than or equal to the threshold 60 percent if it is it's going to echo this information to our terminal basically displaying this information as you see here and then it's going to also throw up a gui notification by using the notify send warning this space with the information here kind of like how we saw over here in the right hand screen earlier. And then lastly, it's going to jump into the following, which is listing the top directories consuming space and putting it in descending order. So what are we doing? We're running the command as a super user granting permission to access all our directories. We're going to use the disk usage command. We're going to summarize the disk usage of each argument. We're going to put it in human readable format. We're going to redirect any error messages, basically discarding them. Then we're going to sort in reverse order in human readable numbers, sorting from the largest to the smallest and only displaying the first 10 lines of the sorted output. 
So basically these two commands list the top 10 directories consuming space either in the root directory or in another specified mount point. And then we're going to basically end the while loop iterating through each line of the disk usage variable. And that's about it guys. This script right here will help you understand your top directories that are consuming space. So that's basically it guys. Go ahead and grab some extra content while you're here. And until the next video, I'll see you out there on the hunt.